Hey there, welcome to Craft Central Designs. I have for you today some very cute Christmas ornaments, two of which are snowmen made with wood coasters and Christmas socks, and the other is a very easy, very cute ornament, very craft friendly, perfect one to create with children, uh, made with drinking straws. These ornaments are such a joy to create, and I hope you feel inspired to make them. If you're not currently a subscriber, please consider becoming one, and as well, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this tutorial. And let me know which of the ornaments is your favorite in the comments. Okay, let's look at the first ornament. Um, I'm going to be creating two snowmen with these wood coasters. Now these are unlike the regular just wood cutout circles. They're thicker and they have nice smooth uh, edges and I really love making ornaments with uh, these. They're actually intended to be coasters. Um, you can find these in the uh, wood department at Hobby Lobby. Uh, you could find these on Amazon and Timu. And I also have here some, I believe it's called balsa wood, but it's the type of very thin sheet of wood that you can cut with scissors. I'm going to be uh, doing some painting of the eyes, uh, orange for the nose, a red, I'm going to be doing some rosy cheeks. And of course, we're gonna to have to paint those white. So um, I'm going to use some Snow White Waverly chalk paint. I'm going to need a paintbrush preferably one with a fine uh, tip. And I have here some Christmas socks. Now, one of the socks is uh, an anklet type of sock. Now, I'm going to do a particular type of hat with that one. The other one, as you can see, has a top uh, to the sock. And I'm going to be able to create a longer um, stocking hat with that one. So you'll see. Um, I have there two pom-poms. One is just a plain white pom-pom. The other one is a tinselly pom-pom. I have there some silver. Um, it's like a floral wire, maybe a little bit heavier. And I have there some uh, baker's twine in red and white uh, twist. So the first thing that I'm going to do is paint both sides and the edges of my wood coasters. Now I did put two coats on here. So um, being that it's a chalk paint, it dries rather quickly. So that process went rather well. Now um, this uh, sheet of balsa wood, I believe I got mine at Hobby Lobby at some point in time. It's really awesome for cutting out uh, carrot noses <laughs> for snowmen. Oh, this is just amazing. This wood cuts with scissors. So that enables you to cut out the perfect shape that you have in mind for a nose for your snowman. Now you're going to have to decide how long you want your nose or how short, how how wide you want your nose. That's up to you, but you just cut it out with scissors. And then I took my little zip sander just to smooth out the edges, any roughness on there. I also um, round off the edges of the base of the carrot nose. And I do that very quite simply with my zip sander. So of course I had to cut out two noses. I think I have them pretty equal in size, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm using a um, acrylic paint in the color pumpkin. And I'm going to go ahead and paint my nose, both of my noses on the top and the sides, all the way out to the point. Now these are going to just simply be glued on the front, uh, obviously on the face, on the front of the face, on the face. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, now I want to, uh, oh, I wanted to show you what I did with the top of the nose. I just took a little bit of 
of uh, a little dry brush of the white chalk paint and I just tipped the top of the nose just to create a little look of snow uh, on the top of the nose. So you could do that or not do that. It's just a little touch that I like to do. All right, so what I'm going to be doing is using an ultra fine white glitter. Now, I don't want these faces covered with glitter. I just want a little shimmer of that ultra fine glitter. And I personally prefer the ultra fine because that gives me that shimmer that I would like rather than the chunky pieces of glitter. So I put a layer of Mod Podge, a very nice light layer, and I open up uh, the top of my little container of glitter and make sure I am only opening it up just a little tiny bit because I don't want that glitter to come pouring out of there. And I just do a little tap of my glitter container over the Mod Podge while it's wet. And this will give me that glisten uh, that I want so it will appear like snow. And again, the Ultra Fine is uh, the one that I prefer. And I get my glitter uh, on the weeks that it's on sale. I believe it's like every other week, something like that at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to do the front and the back of those pieces. Now I'm going to draw on the eyes and the mouth. Now, if you um, are at loss for like what type of face you would like to draw on your snowman, just Google it, uh, snowman faces, and choose what kind of eyes you would like and what kind of mouth. So what I do is I rest my little carrot on there just so I can get an idea where to place my eyes. Now I'm just doing two ovals. They're a little bit tilted. And then I'm just gonna do a couple of little eyebrows over the eyes. And then for the mouth, I'm going to do the little curve on each side of the mouth. And then I'm going to do um, the kind of squiggle line for the mouth. You're gonna see that here in just a minute. I know it's a little difficult to see what I'm drawing here, but I am gonna show you what I did. So I do this in pencil. I definitely do not start by painting. And I'm going to be using just in a black acrylic paint. Now you can see what I drew with my pencil. And of course, I'm going to be filling those lines in with black. And I suggest that you use a real fine line brush to do this so that you don't get thick, you know, a thick mouth line or, um, you know, just so it's easier to manage to paint that on. Okay, now here are my designs, my snowman face design. Now, uh, right here, I'm going to caution you not to do what I did. I glued my noses on without rosying up the cheeks. I mean, can you believe I did that? Well, I did. <laughs> now, you may not even want rosy cheeks on your snowman faces. That's up to you. But I actually intended to put them on there. But I actually ended up doing it, and I'm going to show you how I did it later on in the video. They're actually really cute, just like they are. Uh, but I like a rosy cheek uh, on my snowman ornaments. So now what I'm going to have to do, consequently, is later I'm going to have to rosy up my cheeks and work around that carrot nose. But I accomplished it, as you will see later. But save yourself the trouble and just do the rosy cheeks first. Now I'm putting the little white light in the eye. Oh my goodness. I really, really love the face on that snowman. All right, so I'm going to take my uh, sock here. This is the one with the top on it, which I like because I can fold it over and I have a band uh, on 
the、uh, top of my hat, or the or the part of the hat that goes over the forehead. Now I like that I have that because、uh, it looks authentic to an actual stocking cap. So just to keep it like that, I'm just going to put a little dab of glue here and there. Now you don't have to do much cutting. To this sock, if you do it like I suggest. Now,、um, you could pick up Christmas socks at Walmart, at Target. You could pick them up on Amazon. You could pick them up at any store, like、uh, any store that would sell this kind of thing. Even like somewhere like Marshalls,、uh, any any kind of store like that. Okay, so I'm going to place my.、Um, End of my sock or the opening of my sock around that、uh, wood coaster. Now that's going to fit on there absolutely perfectly. So stick with me. I'm going to show you how to use socks to create hats for your、um, Christmas ornaments. All right. Now this one is going to be a, a, a stocking hat that's going to have a long. Uh, a long body to it,、uh, and it's going to fold over the side of the head, and I'm going to put a white pom pom on there. So what I'm going to do is I cut off the end there.、Uh, that's actually the toe of the sock. Now I'm going to gather up that sock on the end, and I'm going to take a piece of that craft wire, and I'm going to wrap it around super super tight a couple of times. Now this is going to totally close off the end of that sock, or in actuality, the end of the hat. So I like to take、uh, my. I'm first of all. I'm going to start trimming this up, and I do have some nice sharp scissors, and I'm just going to go around, and I want to trim that down to like a stub, if you will.、Um, If that makes sense, I want to get all that extra fabric off from the sock because I'm going to be gluing that pom pom on there for the hat. But I can't do that until I really、uh, trim down that stub. But don't worry because your wire is going to hold that perfectly. Now, what I do to assure that a double assurance that all that stays together. I just take a little stream of glue and I put it right around the base where the wire is. Now I can really spend my time trimming that down, all the way till it's just a stub on there. This will take a few minutes to get it the way you want it, but I don't want that stub peeking out from the pom pom. So I'm just going to really trim that down. And、this is very easy to do. Try and make it flat while you're trimming, and then I'm going to just take some hot glue, and I'm going to glue that the plain white pom pom I'm using on that one. And this is going to finish off the end of my stocking hat, and it turns out super cute. Now the look I want is for that to totally cover that stub. So if I haven't achieved that, which I didn't yet, see I'm just trimming it down as much as I need to. And again, don't worry about it's not going to come apart because that wire is super tight, holding that as well as the hot glue.、And、I think that time I got it. And then you can also put a little、uh, stream of glue around the base of the pom pom once you get it on there, just to make sure that it stays. Now the little heel of that sock. Don't worry about that. What you're going to do is just fold your hat over, tuck in the heel of the sock, right in the underside where you folded it over, and that's going to completely conceal. That little heel part of your sock. You see how it's tucked in there. You'll never see the heel of the sock. Okay, like I said, put your hot glue all the way around the perimeter of that little stub. 
press down your pom-pom, hold it there, try not to burn your fingers like I uh I think I burnt my fingers like, I don't know, four or five times doing these ornaments today. Uh, just one of those off days, I guess. So um, I'm taking my little picker tool and I'm trying to get that pom-pom all the way, uh, covering up that little red stub from the sock. Now I pay attention to fold that sock over so that I tuck that heel of that sock right inside of there. All right, so let's go about putting the hat on. Then we'll worry about that little heel part right there. See how I just tucked it in? So you want to make sure you're placing the hat on correctly so that the heel of the sock is facing the, um, the side. You don't want the heel of the sock on top, if that makes sense. That's what's going to be tucked inside of the hat when you fold it over. Now, once you have that placed correctly, just go around the head of the snowman. Now, you want to be careful not to cover up your eyes. I wanted to try and leave at least one eyebrow out, so I was trying to accomplish that. Go around the back, do the same thing. Because so now my hat will be secure. So while I'm manipulating the um, the hat to glue the pom pom on the side, everything will be secure on the head. Okay, I'm tucking in that heel right there, folding it over. See how I concealed it right underneath there? It's completely hidden now. Fold it over. Now I'm going to once I get that place just the way I want it, I'm going to hot glue that pom-pom right to the side of the head of the snowman. Now, what's really great about these socks is once that you get the basic, everything basically on the head, right around the top of the head, any time, anything that you need to glue on the side, then you can go about, you know, um, manipulating your sock so that it looks just like you want it to. And if you need to, uh, you can use your hot glue gun to help you uh, position your sock just the way you want it. So the hat looks just perfect. I'm sorry, my hand's a little out of frame there. I'll be right back, I'm sure. Uh, this what I'm doing here is basically what I just told you you'll be able to do. Um, I like my hat to sit a certain way on the head. I like for it to fold over to the side a certain way. So the hot glue is that wonderful uh, product that we have to manipulate a lot of situations. So I have my hat just like I like it now. Now I have this little tiny... Uh, snowflake that I got at Hobby Lobby in that little tiny embellishment section. Uh, they got a lot of crafting um, materials in the section at Hobby Lobby where I got this. And I think uh, it w I thought it would look cute to put a little snowflake there, but you could put as well um, uh, holly leaves and holly berries, or you could put a jingle bell, whatever you like. Okay, so uh, on the back, now being that this ornament has a hat on it, it makes it a little bit more difficult to create a hanger, uh, especially because I have the hat folded over on the side. So I decided just to make a loop with some pretty red yarn and I tied a knot at the bottom and I'm just gonna put a loop on the back of the hat. Now, once this is on the tree, obviously when you hang it up, uh, you know, you'll want to have the uh, branches of the tree to also support this ornament. But at least you have a little bit of a hanger on there.
And so this is basically it for this ornament, um, except for the fact that later I'm going to show you how I rosied up the cheeks. Now I have a particular way that I like to do that, and I'm going to share that with you uh, after I do the next snowman head ornament. But this turned out just super, super cute. And I would suggest if you love to make ornaments like this and you, you want to make them out of wood, get the coasters instead of just the thin um, wood rounds because these really make nice ornaments. All right, this is the anklet sock. Now this one, I can make it look different on the um, the head. This one's gonna be more of a short stocking hat with the pom-pom on top of the head. The opening of the sock fits perfectly around that um, snowman head. Now, I'm not sure I mentioned it before, but these wood uh, coasters are four inches in circumference. So I'm going to just uh, open up my sock at the opening, and just like I did the other one, I'm going to situate it on the head just like I want it. So I'm going to use some little dabs of glue just to get that just the way I like it. Now, this sock is really cute. It has peppermint candies on it. And I love the gray color. And I thought it would just make a super cute um, stocking hat. So, uh, and it's going to. Now this one also has a, a heel, of course. It's a sock, of course it has a heel. And again, you can conceal that. I'll show you how later. So um, we're going to be uh, gathering up this sock, determining where I'm gonna place the wire because I'm going to do the exact same thing with this one, I'm showing you here, all you have to do is tuck that heel under in the back and then I'll show you later, we're just gonna glue that down. So I'm gonna cut off the toe of this sock. Now, like I said, I'm gonna make this one of the short stocking hats. Now I took a tiny bit of batting. Now I don't wanna create a puffy top to this hat, but I wanted just a little bit of filling in there just to fill it in just a tiny bit. Because I am, uh, after I get the top, the uh, pom-pom on and everything, I'm going to gather the, the hat down or slouch it down a little bit. I'll show you what I mean by that in a bit. So I decide uh, where I'm going to wrap my wire and I get my wire uh, out again, cut off a piece, and I'm going to do a nice tight uh, wrapping of that wire around that sock. And we're going to go about doing the same thing that we did with the other snowman head. So I gather it up nice and tight, hold it with my finger, and I'm gonna pull that super tight to wrap it really, really, really well. And I'm just going to um, Twist my rip, my wire together uh, on the end. I'm going to use my needle nose pliers again, just to be sure nothing's sticking out. And I just twist the wire after I get it wrapped really, really tight. You can see I'm doing that there. And this is going to hold this very, very well. Now again, after I um, get my wire all attached here, that's what I'm doing, just uh, attaching the wires together so I don't have any sharp points of wire sticking out. I'm going to be trimming that down just like I did uh, the other one to create a stub so I can put my white tinsely um, pom-pom on there. But first, you'll see I'm going to trim this uh, down. This makes a very cute hat. See what I mean about slouching it? I wanted it to kind of to wrinkle or, or gather. Gather, that's a good word. Gather uh, that hat down and then just have that cute pom-pom sitting on top of that stocking hat.
and go ahead and trim that all the way down to create just nothing left but a little stub. Now I also went around the base where the wire is, just like I did the other one, just to put a little stream of glue there. I feel certain that that wire is going to hold, but just that extra assurance with the hot glue. Now I'm ready to put my pom-pom on. So I'm just going to pop it right on the top. It looks so, so cute on top of there. That snowman just makes me happy. I just love it. Now, again, you can manipulate this sock or this hat any way you like. You can, you know, gather it and anywhere you need to, just put a dab of glue. Just see what I'm doing there? I want it to look a certain way. I want it gathered, kind of slouched down over the head. So I just use my hot glue to achieve the look that I want. Now there's one more thing I'm going to do on the back because the hat wanted to kind of flop backwards. So I'm going to create a support back there. I tuck the heel underneath right there. I tuck the heel of that sock underneath, put a little hot glue there, and that added some extra support to the hat. Now it's going to stand up just fine. Is he cute or what? I'm going to put a little snowflake on that one as well on the side of the hat. And I'm going to add a hanger. I'm going to add a white yarn hanger to that one. You could also put a red pom-pom on that hat. That would be cute as well. So I keep all of those pieces. You never know, that might make a gnome hat. That would be cute. I would keep those little pieces, the toes of the socks. And so I'm going to go ahead and pop my little snowflake on there. And that one is going to get rosy cheeks later as well. And I'm going to create my little loop. This is a nice, pretty, thick yarn. It's very soft and pretty. And I'm going to tie a little knot there and just simply glue that to the back of the hat. Now, if you have a better idea for creating a hanger, go right ahead and do that. I just didn't want to have the a gluing uh, a hanger to each side of the head. Uh, I would rather just have the loop to place on the tree branch and then just situate the head to sit nicely on uh, the tree branch. Okay, onward, but we will come back to the snowman heads and the pink cheeks, okay? This is the easiest one of the cutest ornaments I love. I started making these many years ago. In fact, I even think I did it on a tutorial when I first started my channel, which now has been, I guess, a couple of years. Um, but I just thought I would reintroduce it because I think it's such a great craft to do with kids It's just something you could uh, do as a family or even if you're a teacher uh, you know, to do with your class. I just think it's so cute. So um, I got these uh, straws at Hobby Lobby in the Christmas um, department where they have all the paper plates and napkins and all that. I have there some baker's twine and all you need for each of the reindeer is one pipe cleaner. Now you can use brown, you could use red, you could use striped, anything, any color that you like. 
You're also going to need a tinsel pom-pom for the nose. Uh, I'm doing mine as Rudolph, so I needed a red pom-pom. First thing I'm going to do is cut off this baker's twine in the length that I would like for my hangers. Now I take Aileen's tacky glue. I didn't want to use hot glue for this. I thought it was too uh, bulky, if you will, to put in between the straws. So what I'm going to be doing is sandwiching my hanger in between the first and second straw and then between the, the second and third straw. So that way it's all concealed inside of there and you have the perfect hanger. So you're just going to place some Aileen's tacky glue or whatever type of glue. You could probably just use Elmer's glue. And just place it about an inch of glue to hold the hanger. But you're also then, you could go ahead and put a stream of glue down the entire length of the straw for each of just the outside straw, each of the outside straws. So it will, will uh, glue be glued to the center straw. Let me just show you, because <laughs> that may not have made sense the way I said it. Uh, just glue your straws together. So obviously you're gonna place it on the inside of the straw and then on the other one and make sure that your baker's twine is uh, adhered in, in between. You're just sandwiching that baker's twine in between your straws. Make sure your straws are even. Now you'll be able to do two ornaments per um, straw or the three straws. Okay, so for your antlers, just fold your pipe cleaner in half. Either take a pencil or a narrow dowel, something about the width of a pencil, and fold it. After you fold your pipe cleaner in half, just wrap that pipe cleaner around whatever it is you're using, a pencil or whatever. And now you have antlers. It's that easy. Like I said, this is a great project for kids. Make sure you leave a little a little base to your antlers so that you could glue it on. Uh, this is my little uh, block that I use for creating tiny bows. That's a subject for another um, tutorial, but uh, I basically just created a block so that I could uh, just create little bows. So create a tiny bow, however you like to do that. I'm using a, a red and white uh, glittery stripe bow, and I'm gonna place this on the head of my reindeer. This bow is about an inch and a half wide. Okay, so now I'm going to go about gluing on everything onto my little straw reindeer. So um, I'm using uh, Aileen's Techie Glue here. And I'm going to place my antlers first. I want to place them, uh, initially I, I put them at the top, but then I ended up moving them down just about a half an inch. So about a half an inch from the top, you want to place your antlers. And then I'm going to place my bow right on top of that. I also placed a red jingle bell on the uh, middle, in the middle of my bow. And I took a little uh, clip from the Dollar Tree and I just placed it on there just to hold that while it's drying. Now, um, I have these, some of those little, I call them Google Eyes, but I have a ton of them in a plastic container. You can use any type of eyes you like. You can use ovals, or you can use circular eyes. You can use bigger ones. You can use tiny ones. You can uh, position them any way you like. I always like my reindeers to look a little bit silly. So you'll see that I how I place my eyes on there. I'm using, as I said, ovals. And I place them underneath the area where the bow is. 
and I'm just going to hot glue those on. Again, now, if you're doing this with children, you can just strictly use glue. You don't have to use hot glue. Now, I'm going to determine uh, where I want the nose on my reindeer, or in other words, how long I want my reindeer head. So I've decided there that's where I want to cut it. So now I have enough left over to do another reindeer. And I already have the body, uh, or the head, I'm sorry, of the reindeer all glued together. So I'm going to take some hot glue and pop my little tinselly nose right on there. This is the simplest ornament, but yet it's just so cute. I absolutely love this one. Now, if the antlers are too long, just trim them off. That's what I did. And I'm going to take my clip off because everything should be dry. Now you will see a little bit of your straws peeking up over the top of the head in between the antlers. That's the way I wanted mine. I'm just going to put a little dab of hot glue there and put a red jingle bell right there on the bow. Now you can use any type of ribbons that you like any colors that you like. I just think that these straws were really perfect for this project. And all of those um, materials in that department are 50% off as well at Hobby Lobby. And look how cute that is. Just think that's so, so adorable. <laughs> I'm showing you here, you have enough to make another one. And you could do that so quick and easy because they're already glued together. Okay, so it's time to rosy up those cheeks on those adorable snowmen. I use red paint and I use a paintbrush that's got like a short bristly type of brush head because I want to do a dry brush. Now, I am going to use white as well, but watch how I do this. I dip it very lightly in the paint, and then I swirl it around on a paper towel because I want most of my paint off of the brush. Now, remember, I said best to do this without the carrot nose on there, but I managed it regardless, but definitely do this, this part first before you glue on the nose. So see how I'm just swirling my paintbrush around and around in as big an area as you like. Maybe you just want a little bit, or maybe you want exaggerated rosy cheeks, whatever you like. Now on the other side, I'm going to have to work around that nose, as I mentioned. Um, but I managed to somehow do that. Now after I finish this part, don't worry about... Firstly, let me say, don't worry if you get a little heavy handed with that, the, the red part that you're putting on there, because I'm going to show you how I like to take a dry brush with white paint on it and go back over it and just soften the lines of those little rosy cheeks that are placed on there. I do this always when I do rosy cheeks because it kind of blends the uh, color but it softens it as well and especially on these snowman heads when you do that with the white paint when you go over it you just sort of dab on very lightly over the pink area it looks kind of like the snowman has pink cheeks but it also has a little bit of flakes of snow on top of the pink cheek, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> but it really softens the look. So I'm just using my Waverly Snow White chalk paint and I'm using just a, a, a small narrow tipped brush. And now I'm just gonna dab white all the way around the perimeter of the area of the pink cheek but I'm also going to dab it on top of 
the entire area where I put the pink and just soften it. And this really creates a very pretty look, especially to a snowman uh, face. See how soft that looks? Boy, that was such a great addition to that snowman face. Now I'm also going to do it to the other one, obviously, but I just wanted to show you how I do pink uh, rosy cheeks. So I start with my dry brush with the red, and then I take my Snow White Waverly and I just dab it on. Now you see there's no uh, pink cheeks on these because I did this video clip before I did the pink, but I am gonna show you snowman here and I hope you feel inspired to make these ornaments they are so adorable and here they are with the pink cheeks oh my goodness so cute will look adorable on any type of Christmas tree. Okay, I hope you feel inspired, and until next time, you all take care.